Lenovo Legion 7i16. Is this simply the best Windows laptop money can buy? Well, let's talk about it. Yo, what up YouTube? Crash Wilcox. And today we are taking a look at a beast of a gaming laptop. This is the Lenovo Legion 7i. And um, we'll do this review as we do sort of all of my laptop reviews. Uh, we'll start just kind of looking at what it's made of, you know, what the specs are, ports, and all that sort of stuff. Then we'll dive into the benchmarks, you know, going through the synthetic um, live gameplay, some content creation stuff. I'm going to do my best to try and compare this with the Apple M1 Max because I think they're comparable. Um, these are obviously heavyweights in the laptop world, so I think that'd be a neat comparison. I don't own a M1 Max, so all the numbers and scores that I find, that I can find, um, will be just based on other videos or articles that I read. So if I can't find all of them, you know, I'll, maybe I'll try to find something comparable in, uh, in this upper tier to compare this with. But I think the M1 Max would be kind of a neat comparison because that's kind of all the hotness today. Um, and then we'll come back and I'll give you my thoughts. You know, is this a laptop that I think you should buy? Is it worth the money? That sort of thing. Um, so just kind of looking at this laptop, kind of diving in. Like I said, this is the Lenovo Legion 7i. And what makes this the i version is it's the Intel version. So you can get this in AMD or Intel. I chose to go with the Intel version. And the specs on this, this is uh, the i9-11980HK with the RTX 3080, and that is the 16 gigabyte RTX 3080. So uh, CPU, GPU, this thing is uh, bonkers. And then the rest of the specs in this are, uh, it comes with 32 gigabytes of RAM and two terabytes of Gen 4 NVMe SSD. So it's fully loaded. This is the highest configuration you can get in the Legion 7. And yeah, I mean, it's the highest spec you can get in a laptop today. So really, uh, I mean, I guess you could find 64 gigs of RAM, but um, this is a gaming laptop, I suppose. And um, yeah, so the specs, it's maxed out. Um, as far as really what kind of gets everyone uh, fired up about the Legion is the screen. And it's awesome. You know, it's a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, um, which I like. You know, I, I don't mind 16 by 9. You know, everyone kind of dumps on 16 by 9. It doesn't bother me, but 16 by 10 is pretty neat. I like it. Um, the screen goes up to 500 nits of brightness, so it can get pretty bright. We can run that up real, real quick. And this is on battery power too, but um, it can get pretty bright. Uh, yeah, let me see, I got my phone right here just so I don't miss anything. Yeah, it's 2560 by 1600, so basically 2K resolution. Um, 165 hertz refresh rate. And once we get into the benchmarks, you'll see sort of the, um, the color accuracy and that sort of stuff, a very color accurate screen. So the screen is immaculate. As far as a gaming computer goes, it's the best. Um, it's simply the best. Yeah, you know, especially when you talk, talk about high frame rates as well. Um, you can get a lot of other gaming laptops with high frame rates, but their screens are maybe 1080p and that sort of stuff. So this one really just packs it all in. Um, and then moving around, uh, we'll just talk about as far as build quality, it's solid. I mean, it's it's like a solid, you know, metal construction um, on the body, on the lid, um, underneath. I mean, everything, it just, it's relatively heavy as well, which is stupid to say. I mean, it's like 5.5 pounds. So it's pretty light in the world of um, gaming laptops. I mean, it's 2021, so that's heavy but it's relatively light it's it's portable you know i mean you can still move it around i've had it on my lap sitting on the couch 
it's not unbearable. Uh, and then port selection here on this side, uh, the left side, you have the, um, it's like the eye or the camera. What do they call this? Let me see. There's a name for it. The E shutter switch. So you can kill the camera on there. Um, it has USB type C that's 3.2 gen one on the left side. Then moving around on the back, you got your RJ 45. You got, what is that? Thunderbolt. No, that's the, uh, yeah, so this is just type C 3.1 gen one again, the, uh, USB here type a that's 3.2 gen one. Uh, you got HDMI that is 2.1. And as far as I understand, that's the legit 2.1. So you can get, what is that? 4k at 120 Hertz. Um, if you're doing that, you got another, uh, 3.2 gen one, uh, USB, you got your sort of proprietary Lenovo power um, connector. And then on the left or the right side, I'm sorry, you have your USB-C Thunderbolt 4, and then you got your headphone mic combo there. Um, so tons of ports, all the ports you would need. Um, and the iSafe, you know, eye shutter thing, it's kind of a nice touch. But, and then just sort of looking inside here um you know one of the big things that this kind of gets dumped on about is the iq software that manages obviously the rgb lighting and everything no one seems to like iq um i can't say i like it or dislike it, it makes no difference to me it, it apparently is a huge battery drain um but as far as customization you can do a lot of customization here um this is just the way i set the laptop up and I like it more because, you know, as you've seen, and you'll see videos as we start going through here, once I get done talking, um, of sort of the RGB, you know, it can be sort of that rainbow puke and it can be over the top. And that's one of the reasons why I hesitated to get this is because I don't like it. You know, I don't like the RGB bar underneath. Um, it's just not my style. So if that is your style, then yeah, it's got RGB for days. It's not my style. So I went a little more subtle you know, but it is per key RGB with it, which is nice. Um, it's got a nice big trackpad. It is offset to the left side, which I wasn't sure I would like. You get used to it. It's a big enough um, trackpad that is usable. Uh, I didn't notice any sort of like palming on there or anything like that where it was getting messed up with my typing. Um, the click is good. Um, the left and right click. It tracks really well, very accurate. The keys, I mean, it's the Lenovo keypad, um, so it's awesome. Uh, I can't say it's the best keypad that I've ever used, um, but I think it's really high quality. I mean, if you like to type on it, it types really well. I think it has sort of that kind of shallow bottom on here. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a keyboard aficionado, um, but it's comfortable to type on, you know, if typing is your thing and you just sort of game as well then this would be a nice keyboard for you. It's got the 10 key um, number pad over here. So if you're a number cruncher, that'll help you out a lot. Um, and then, sorry, just kind of the last thing going around the side. Um, if you can see, uh, you know, the screen sort of sits directly on top of the laptop, which I like. Um, I didn't really like it at first when I first, you know, first started looking at this but I like it because it's a little more rigid. And then it got these big exhausts out of the back. Um, Cause as you can imagine, this is an i9 and RTX 3080. It can get pretty hot and it can pump out some air. So it's got vents along the back, vents along the side. Um, so it can get, pump out a lot of air. And then it also, just as far as branding is concerned, it's got your little Legion, um, nice touch on the top corner. So it's a relatively subtle looking gaming laptop when you have all the RGB and everything turned off, which again is something that I like. So um, that's the laptop. Uh, and sorry, you can just kind of see as I hold it up here. I mean, you can see sort of the rainbow puke, um, which I say puke, I don't mean it derogatory because some people like it. And if that's your thing, God bless you, you know, who am I to tell you what you're supposed to like or what you're not supposed to like? It's just not my touch, but you can do a lot in here. 
you can even kill it completely and just go with her, you know, no RGB at all. You know, like I said, it does have somewhat of a subtle look if you were just to take this somewhere with you. Um, then, you know, you can kill all the RGB and people may not even notice. They might just think you stink because you got this crusty old big laptop. Little do they know, <laughs> it's probably stronger than most of their desktops. So, um, that's the Legion 7i sort of in a nutshell is there anything else that i'm missing here um i am running windows 11 on here it's a i like windows 11 i don't know if i'm not supposed to but i do um so that's that's the laptop so we'll get into now um kind of like i said running through the benchmarks um kind of going through the unboxing showing you some of the rgb effects and that sort of thing and then we'll be back here in just a few minutes to talk about, you know, what I think of this laptop. So see you guys in a few.
All right, so there you have it. Uh, I hope you guys found those benchmarks useful. Um, if you didn't and there's something else that you would like to see, you know, a game that you play or uh, a piece of software that you use and you're considering this, let me know. I'll do my best to, you know, try to add in some benchmarks there for you guys. Um, but hopefully, you know, you can make sense of these benchmarks, you know, just because your game wasn't up there, you can see if, if you know, for God's sakes, if it plays cyberpunk, it plays anything. Um, but this thing, it's a beast. It's an absolute dump truck of a laptop. There is no limitation for this as far as a laptop is concerned. It can video edit with the best of them. It can game with the best of them. Um, the screen is color accurate enough if you're a uh, photographer and you're doing uh, photo editing it can do that with the best of them there is no limitation you know probably the two limitations uh, would be if you're portable you know if you're a mobile <laughs> kind of worker this ain't the best for you um, it doesn't offer USB-C charging you can't do that on this laptop which is a downer but it makes sense I mean this thing has a 300 watt power brick and with the components inside, you know, you simply wouldn't be able to, you know, trickle charge it enough to make any sense. So it's not the most portable. Um, and, you know, it can be pretty loud again. So if you're mobile or if you just, you know, I personally, I wouldn't use this if say you were gonna try to record, you know, maybe your YouTube videos or if you're a podcaster type thing on this with it running close to you because it's gonna get loud. It's just the way it is. That's Intel, that's Nvidia. Um, so those two areas, uh, I would maybe steer clear of that. There's probably better options out there for you. Um, but for everybody else, man, it's awesome. Uh, it's awesome, like I said, even if you're in the world where we are, you know, it's 2021, so, or it's 2022, I'm sorry, now, so who knows what the market looks like in 10 months, a year, or whatever, when you're watching this video, you might be able to find a graphics card, you know, who knows, but, um, or one that's reasonably priced. So if that's still the world we're living in, then buying a laptop like this to sort of replace your desktop um, makes a lot of sense, you know, because there is nothing that this can't do um, that a laptop can do. You know, outside of maybe some stability issues, but it's it's fantastic. It crushes everything you throw at it. So, would I recommend it for you? Um, yeah, absolutely, for the right price. I mean, I I have a hard time recommending anybody buy a thirty five hundred dollar laptop. That's just a lot of money. Um, and so, if you're just made of money, then yeah, go crazy, spend it. Um, you'll get a fantastic product out of it. Um, but for everyone else, yeah, if you can find some of those deals like I found, you know, knocking 800 and some dollars off the price, then yeah, you can't beat it. Um, you know, even in a year from now when they come out with the 12th gen Intel, it's going to be amazing. Um, you know, that's sort of the, the lie we need to quit buying is that we always have to have the newest CPU. Um, this thing is still going to be a monster. It'll last you four or five years, I'd imagine, um, of solid gaming, AAA gaming, um, eight core, 16 threads, 16 gigabytes of VRAM. It's gonna be awesome. So in that light, if you think about holding on to this for years, then you know, 2,700 bucks is not that hard of a pill to swallow. Uh, and again, if you're a content creator, a working professional, this can again, handle anything that you throw at it. So would I recommend it? Absolutely. I would not recommend you go into debt for it. I would not recommend that you, uh, you know, shell out a full 3,500 if you can maybe find uh, a deal on it, then yes. And if not, the Legion 5 Pro and those are close enough to it that those make more sense than this. Um, that would be my recommendation. So again, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. If you got a Legion 7, I'd love to hear what your um, thoughts on it are. Uh, if you have recommendations or things that you'd like to see from me with this laptop, again, please let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to um, get those uh, results for you if I can and make this decision a little bit easier for you. But I mean, that's all we got on this laptop right now. It's awesome, uh, it's full throttle, it's a beast. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, God bless.